NASCAR is back on the track this weekend at Kansas Speedway. And the playoffs kick off for the drivers in the Xfinity Series. Larry McReynolds has more on what to expect for Saturday's big race. Kansas Speedway is the first race of the playoffs for the Xfinity Series this year. The Xfinity Series only races at Kansas once this year. We were not there in the spring with the Cup Series. It's a complete reset for these 12 playoff drivers and teams. Three rounds, seven races, and what a first round. Kansas, a mile and a half track, the super speedway of Talladega, and then the cutoff race, a road course to Charlotte Roval. You do not need to get in the hole and put your back against the wall with an issue at Kansas with a super speedway and a road course being the final two races in this round of 12. The four drivers that start below the cut line, Sheldon Creed, A.J. Allmendinger, Sammy Smith, and Parker Kligerman, they all got in on points. They're still looking for their first win of the year. Fifth through 12th are separated by a mere 19 points. Obviously win and you advance to the next round, but knowing a minimum of five drivers will advance based on points of the round of eight, every stage point, every finishing position will be huge. Now the race is 200 laps, 300 miles. The only previous winner in the field on Saturday is Brandon Jones, who won back-to-back -back races there in 2019-2020. Joe Gibbs Racing, they've been tough at Kansas, winning 12 of the last 17 Xfinity Series races there with eight different drivers, including one year ago with John Hunter Nemechek. Now, if one of these 12 playoff drivers can win at Kansas, they can punch their ticket to the round of eight and just go to Talladega and the Charlotte Roval, playing with house money, and just have some fun.